Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be going over MIDI overdub in quantization. All right, so in the previous video, we were recording a loop, and uh, we had, you know, it kind of looked like this. So we'll do... Right, and it'll, like, get rid of, you know, what we previously just did. But it'll still be there, right? So what MIDI overdub is, is we can record something and we can keep on recording over and over, like keep on recording over it, like so. So we'll press a button. Right? And, and we can keep on going. And uh, all of our revisions are, you know, still in here. And that's all good. Uh, so I want to show you something else. So we're going to right click, we're going to consolidate, that's for the next video. Uh, and then we'll have our MIDI notes that we recorded in here. We'll select fold, so only the MIDI notes that are um, important, are show, or only the MIDI notes that we used are shown. So E, D, B, A, D, A, right? So what you'll notice is we were we didn't play perfect and i i don't play perfect and we were off a little bit uh for a lot of our notes so there's something called quantization and uh you right click and you can select quantize settings and you can be okay so you want to you want to quantize to current grid so on 64 notes or we can select whatever we want to uh quantize to right and there's a whole plethora of options here. We can adjust the notes so the start time is quantized, the end is quantized, or just uh, just start. We'll go start. And the amount is how much it would be quantized. Okay. We select that, and then it snaps to, uh, to uh, the start of all these notes. So... <laughs> right? Still sounds a bit off. So what we'll do is we'll go 16ths and we'll go okay well this is why it sounds kind of squirrely so we will quantize bam it'll quantize again so what i'll do And we can move things around. Right. And uh, that way we can uh, get things going and uh, easily get things all matched up. Uh, and we can quantize it to basically anything we want. It's kind of a weird example. Um, typically, you'd use it for, like, say, if you have, uh, like, pads going. And you want those to be, you know, perfectly synced with your beat or whatever. Uh, then you can do that. And you can quantize basically anything. So you can take this and just quantize. Um, depending on how close you were in the context of the track, uh, you never know. Right. I uh, hope you learn stuff. So again, um, overdub and over having overdub on or off will depend on you know your kind of preferences. If you want to keep on going over and over things, um, you can do that. And yeah, overdub and MIDI is very useful. And once you do that, you can render this or bounce it, as they would say. And uh, warp it and refine it, and uh, you already have it. And uh, yeah, you're all good. So yeah, uh, that is MIDI overdub and quantization.